Faith without works is dead. Living life is not a theory. It must be experienced. Risks must be taken. Fears are dealt with now that we are becoming right-sized. Having found humility and enjoying taking direction from the power that knows. We trust the process and our shoulders drop. Smiles appear on our face more than frowns. We let go and let God show us the way. We're going to start with the serenity prayer, and then we'll go into the daily reflections. If you or someone you know are questioning yourselves about whether or not you're an alcoholic or whether they are an alcoholic or drug addict, reach out. We can help you. You don't have to do it alone. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Grant me patience with the struggles that take time, and appreciation for all that I have, tolerance of those with different struggles, and the strength to get up and try again, one day at a time. Giving it away, August 26th. Though they knew they must help other alcoholics if they would remain sober, that motive became secondary. It was transcended by the happiness they found in giving themselves for others. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 159. Those words for me refer to a transference of power through which God, as I understand him, enters my life. Through prayer meditation, I open channels. Then I establish and improve my conscious contact with God. Through action, I receive the power I need to maintain my sobriety each day. By maintaining my spiritual condition, by giving away what has been so freely given to me, I am granted a daily reprieve. They were willing, by day or night, to place a new man in the hospital and visit him afterward. They grew in numbers. They experienced a few distressing failures. But in those cases, they made an effort to bring the man's family into a spiritual way of living, thus relieving much worry and suffering. It is in the giving that we receive. Crazy talk when we were active alcoholics. As recovering alcoholics who work the steps, it is common knowledge and accepted that through work and self-sacrifice for others is how we enlarge our spiritual life and is the only way to survive the certain trials and low spots in life. If we do not work, we will surely drink again. And if we drank, we would surely die. Then faith would be dead indeed. With us, it is just like that. We in AA who have found sobriety and a higher power are God's miracles. We could not do it ourselves, and we know our higher power did it for us. All we can do and we want to do it, is to pass on the message to the newcomer who wants it, needs it, and is willing to work for it. Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we tried to carry this message to alcoholics and to practice these principles in all our affairs. Carrying the message serves two purposes. First, it lets us be of service in helping others to find sobriety. And second, it keeps us sober and spiritually connected to our higher power, which, we find out now, is the whole point. We came for our drinking and we stay for our thinking. The basic text, the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous, is the instruction manual on how to live a happy, joyous, and free life, free from alcohol and selfishness. Giving it away, August 26th. Though they knew they must help other alcoholics if they would remain sober, that motive became secondary. It was transcended by the happiness they found in giving themselves for others. Alcoholics Anonymous, page 159. Those words for me refer to a transference of power through which God, as I understand him, enters my life. Through prayer meditation, I open channels. Then, I establish and improve my conscious contact with God. Through action, I receive the power I need to maintain my sobriety each day. By maintaining my spiritual condition, by giving away what has been so freely given to me, I am granted a daily reprieve. Please subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.